Welcome back for matchups number four and five. We have matchup number four, and I first want to tell you that uh, I completely protest to this name. You cannot name a fantasy football team after a Katy Perry song. So, Ball Me Maybe by Jeff D. Rose. Well, I guess it fits with his team. It sucks. And his opponent in week one is Barroom Heroes, Michael Dunheimer. Um, first, let's see here. ESPN has Ball Me Maybe as favored 112 to 95. Let's dive into the matchup, shall we? Doll, uh, Drew Brees, Washington. Uh, Drew Brees going against Washington, projected at 22 points. I see that, or I see higher. I see him like 26, 25 points for Drew Brees this week. Um, look from the come out on fire, admit all the and miss, blah, 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 blah. miss all the scandal and everything like that. You know he's gonna try to do more than expected. A few picks, but look for like around four touchdown passes this week. Actually, um, Donald Brown. Indy against Chicago projected at 13. I'm going way lower on that. Let's go with six points for Donald Brown. Um, we have Pierre Marchand. Oh, I'm sorry, Pierre Thomas um, against Washington projected at 10 points. Um, he's not really the the end zone back. I don't really see him having a 10 point total here. Give me five points for Pierre Thomas. Uh, Stevie Johnson against the Jets. He's going to be locked up on Revis Island. They're projecting him at 13, knocking him down to 4. Um, Hakeem Nix, probable. He's still going to be a little injured. We'll see how, he, how hampered he is with that. Projected at 16. I'll still give him 10. Um, Wes Welker going against the Tennessee defense. They're projecting him at 10. I'm going to give him 15 this week. Um, Rod Minkowski, they're projecting him at 13. I don't think he's going to be as huge as he was last year. Um, but still going to be very productive. Give him 10 touchdown, 40 yards. Uh, Bears defense against Indy. You got to like that. Uh, supposedly, Urlacher's come back, everything like that. Against uh, Luck and the Colts. Um, they're projecting at four. I'm saying about seven. Uh, Sebastian Janikowski, you got to like him. Always going to give us long field goals against a really pretty decent uh, San Diego Chargers defense. Definitely a bend but don't break defense. Um, 11 points seems just about right for him. Uh, Barroom Heroes for Jay Cutler. Really love Jay Cutler this year. Uh, if I didn't have Brady, I would definitely wait and got some Jay. Um, Going to be a pretty high-powered offense in Chicago. Maybe something you guys aren't used to with an average defense. Um, against Indy, projected at 11. I'm saying 19 for him. Marshawn Lynch against Arizona. Chances are he's not going to play, so that projected 11 might be zero. Might have to hit the waiver wire or, or pull off your bench. Um, Michael Turner going against KC. Oh, sorry. Uh, Michael Turner going against KC. I actually like Michael Turner this year. I think he's going to get a decent amount of points. Uh, I'm saying 10 for him. Uh, just so you know, I would probably, instead of Marshawn Lynch, uh, you don't have a, a really a really good running back sitting um, in your in your um, on your bench, so I would probably go after their uh, rookie running back that uh, will probably be starting instead of Marshall Lynch. I would jump on him as soon as possible before someone else picks him up. But that's just me. I'm not going to pick him up and be that much of a dick. I could, but I'm not. Um, Eric Decker. Um, for Pitt, uh, for Denver going against Pittsburgh, 11 points. Think that's just about right. Uh, Greg Jennings, Green Bay, uh, projected 15 against San Francisco. I just don't see that many points going against uh, the number one fantasy defense. Uh, I'm going to say about 10. Greg Jennings will still get his. Um, Vincent Jackson. We'll see how he works in Tampa Bay. Uh, he's going against Carolina's weak defense. 16 points actually seems just about right. We'll see how he uses them. I'm kind of interested in in, in uh, seeing how he is in in Tampa. Um, Brandon Pettigrew uh, for tight end going against uh, the Rams like him. Uh, they project him at four. Give him uh, six for me. Um, <clears throat> the Tennessee defense going against Miami. They're projecting at eight. I'm going to say 12. Really like the Texans defense. I like how they rush. And with a rookie quarterback, uh, we'll see how, how they he does against them. Uh, Matt Bryan, Atlanta kicker, projecting six uh, against KC. I'm going to say about eight for him. Uh, Bottom line, I'm thinking Barroom Heroes is going to put up about 109 points. 
Um, Balmy, maybe, I'm thinking, is going to put up 88 points. That's a decisive win by Ballroom Heroes. Um, upset, and at the moment, that would be upset of the week of, of, of the picks that I've made. So, on to the last week. Um, the I'm sorry, the last matchup of the week, which is uh, matchup number five, uh, which includes two former champions. We have Team Dirschwald, who was week, uh, the first season, the inaugural season's champion. Um, versus Micah Dunbar, who's this is now his third uh, year in the league. He's been to the championship and won, and been to the championship and lost. We'll see what he does in this league. He's made some big trades. Um, it, obviously, to me, he's the team to beat. Um, also, with the add of uh, Brandon Lloyd, which I, I really love. Um, Philip Rivers been on my team since I started. Really, uh, I like uh, Philip Rivers. He's always a solid quarterback. Um, we'll get you some good points. Um, but Dirschball, Aaron Rodgers against San Francisco. They're projecting him at 21. I'm going to knock down a little bit at 19. Aaron Rodgers is going to come out big, but it's not New Orleans week one like it was last year. You know, it's, it's, it's a little bit better defense there. Uh, Matt, Matt Forte, which I absolutely love this year. He's projected at 17. I'm going to actually give him 21 points against Indy's defense. Um, really like Forte. Uh, and he is used in the past game a lot, too. Like I said, he is the reincarnation of Marshall Falk in football. Um, Darren Sproles for New Orleans going against uh, Washington. Like him flexed um, at 11 seems just about right on. Marquez Colston for New Orleans. Like I said, New Orleans is going to come out hot trying to prove something like, uh, like the offense had anything to do with taking off other quarterbacks' heads. But uh, 13 points seems just right on for me. Um, Jordy Nelson, Green Bay uh, against San Francisco. Uh, projected at 15, like I said, a little bit lower. I think 11 points for him, maybe 10. Uh, Mike Wallace, Pittsburgh, really don't like him. He's projected at 13 against the Denver defense. Uh, I'm actually going to go with only five points there. Dustin Keller, tight end, don't like him. I don't like anybody on the Jets offense, to be honest with you. Going against the Buffalo defense, they're projecting him at nine. I'm going to tell you he's only going to get four. Uh, Jets defense against Buffalo's offense. Defense, good with turnovers, everything like that. They're going to be on the field a lot of with that offense uh, that the Jets have. And Buffalo has a very good offense. So six points. I could see it being down to about three or four points for them instead. Garrett Hartley with New Orleans, he's going to score some points. But I think most of them are going to be uh, extra points. Give him eight points instead of 12. Um, despicable me. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I forgot to say this. Projected totals is 120 to 117. Uh, favoring despicable me. Um, says uh, says um, ESPN. So, anyhow, uh, River is going against Oakland. Like him, projected at 18. He usually uh, starts off the season slow. Let me say 15, 14 points with him. Um, Arian Foster against the Miami defense. Really going to be keying on him. Uh, they're projecting him at 22. I'm saying a little less. Still a good game. Uh, 18. Uh, Chris Johnson. They're projecting him at 18 against New England. Uh, with Jake Locker, I know they're going to be leaning on the run, but I also think that they're going to be cheating up. New England, don't like their defense, don't like their run defense. I just don't see 18 points coming in Chris Johnson's future uh, that many times this year, so I'm going to go 14 or 12 for him. Um, Rashad Jennings, um, filling in for Maurice Jones-Drew. Sorry, you're not Maurice Jones-Drew. You are not going to get 14 points with that absolutely hideous offense. Um, he's going to get 8 points this week. Uh, Brandon Lloyd for New England. They're projecting him at 12. I'm going to actually say he's going to get 18. What happened last time New England had a deep threat? Big points, record year. Um, not saying record year with him, but look for a lot more than 12 points this this week. Antonio Brown from Pittsburgh. I actually do like him a lot more than Mike Wallace for Pittsburgh this year. Um, against a good Denver defense, I don't see 16. I do see 12. Um, Jermichael Finley, Green Bay against San Francisco. Frisco with some of the best linebackers in the league. Uh, Jermichael Finley going against uh, P. Willie. Uh, 16 points I don't see happening. I actually see 8. Um, Ravens defense. Uh, against Cincinnati, like that, four points, a little low for me. I know they're they're overrate, uh, overrating the loss of uh, Suggs to me, just a just a tad bit. Uh, I'm gonna say actually seven points for him. And uh, Mason Crosby, the kicker for uh, Green Bay against Frisco. Frisco's a big bend but don't break. Give up as few points as possible. Uh, they're projecting seven. I'm gonna say nine or ten. I think he's gonna get at least uh, two or three field goals that game. And um, Overall, I actually think Despicable Me is going to be a little bit lower, 105 points, uh, to Dirschfall's 92 points. Um, 
Not not incredibly low scoring, but it's not going to be incredibly high. I, I could see Dirk Ball falling down to 80, and that's only because some of the matchups this week um, for him, some of their higher and uh, the guys that are really going to carry their, his team most of the year is uh, going against pretty pretty decent uh, defenses. Um, either way, good luck to both of you guys, and uh, remember, 0-1, not as bad as you might think. Peace.